All right, coming up next, a welterweight championship fight of the highest order between Conor McGregor and Robbie Lawler. So here we go with round one, Robbie Lawler, Conor McGregor. Now, DC doesn't work for free, but with a matchup like this, I know you would. Your thoughts on how it might play out? I would have showed up to watch this fight for free, John. When you put Robbie Lawler versus Conor McGregor at the top of the marquee, people are running to the arena just as we did a few hours ago. This is going to be a phenomenal fight between two of the best athletes the UFC has ever seen. Big knee there. Hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put him in the Hall of Famers. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lawler. Just missing on the uppercut there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lawler. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, big right hand, yes. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So just over 20 total strikes unofficially have landed for ruthless Robbie Law. <laughs> Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. <laughs> over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about Chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Round two, Conor McGregor. You ready? And the one, the only, ruthless Robbie Lowe. Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice kick there by Connor. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Waller gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 37 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Robbie Law. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. As he gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Just misses there with the left. Big punch from the clinch. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture. And what a round! Oh, oh, oh. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've gotta be celebrating. They've gotta be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Oh! He needs to start looking to face. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. And back to his feet. Right hand upstairs. They continue to exchange. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Lawler's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Beautiful body kick. Swing and a miss with that punch by Connor. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. A beautiful leg kick throw. Misses with that punch. Oh, 
Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by McGregor. Nice leg kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Just out of range with that strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 30 seconds to go now. Can't take many of those, you better check. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner, uh, So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.